Welcome again to the channels guys for the low DIY. Today we got a different project today. Um, this is a 2000 on the Accord. This look like an AX, got the sunroof. The complain about this one is I up and down idle. Um, so that's what we're gonna try and toggle this morning guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up, let y'all hear it. Yo, I that is guys. You already can hear my voice right now. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to that. Um, let's run the code. So right here, guys, as you can see, it said the idle ear control valve. We got two codes. Let's go back up. Idle ear control system. Idle ear control system. So pretty much the same code. So let's talk of that guys. Um the idea control valve. Let's see. This is a 2002, but it's pretty much the same thing. This body style run from 98 to 2002 and it got the V6 also. But the idea control valve is all the way in the back around here, guys. All the way in the back right there. So what we're gonna do, um we gotta remove this intake tube right here. Uh, remove all of these stuff from the intake tube but that's what we're gonna do first then we're gonna remove the brake booster hose um, we got a couple more water hose once you remove this you will see that all right let's go ahead and remove this tube first and um start taking all of those stuff and i'll show you how to get that i have your control valves off easily all right guys let's bring you a little closer so on the throttle body right here you got a couple sensors you got one at the top right here you got one at the back right here um you got a couple water holes that you gotta disconnect from off it one at the back you got this one at the front right here that you gotta um disconnect also this one looks swole so we gotta replace this one you can see this one's swole up a little we're gonna replace it we're also gonna repair this one because this one wasn't clamped at all so i already know if the car was driving for a while this would get hot and popped off so yeah guys remember that and we also got the um this sensor right here in the back and this is the idea control sensor once i take it off i will let you know show you and um i'm gonna show you how we're gonna remove it uh, without too much stress All right, guys, close to look. Um, if you look right here, you will see this ground wire right here. It's mounted right here by the side. You got a sensor right here also. You need to uh, disconnect. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now, uh, we're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter from this sensor. And then we're gonna pull all of these 12 millimeter around. You got a couple more in the back um, that we gotta get to. So we're gonna do that. And once we do that, cause guys, <coughs> the idea control valve is right here. I possibly could get it off right now cause I've done it before like this, but I don't wanna mess with the idea control valve on the car cause you got a gasket. So if the gasket get damaged, you still gotta take it off. So the best thing to do is just take off the top because let's take this off and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside here. Guys, there's a lot going on with this vehicle right here. If you look right here, that's a crack right there. On the hose, I know that leaking on all the water right there. So that's a big problem. We gotta replace this hose too. Wow. Oh, wow. All 
right, guys, let's get it cracking. Clean it up and see what it do. All right, guys. This is the aftermath right here. Messy in there. I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit. Uh, we gotta check that EGR valve thing too. I'll remove the EGR valve and double check that also because a lot of times if that clogged up can be a problem. Right, let's see. Uh, you see right here guys. This is the back engine mount. The bolt, the main bolt at the top is missing. <clears throat> so this is the issue right here, guys. The code that we're getting, the idea control valve code. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it off and take a closer look on the inside and see what's going on. It's held by two 10 millimeter. So just take them off and we're gonna check it out. Oh, guys, it's a mess. So nasty right here. So nasty. This is the sensor right here. This is where the water come in, cool it down. But we're gonna check up in this area right here and clean it up a little bit put some WD-40 in there. It look like it stick for real, man. Look, look at the mess in there. It's a mess in there, guys. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean it up real good. <clears throat> we're gonna put it back on and see if it work. Sometimes, guys, just take a um, a couple, couple time putting on and pulling off, um, possibly two time. Because um, when we clean this up, if it don't work, we're going to take it back off and um, double check it again or, or replace this. I think I got to use one in the back. Um, I should we replace it. All right. All right, guys. So I was trying to clean this one up. I'm going to just let it sit for a while because it's thick in there. Um, I can't remove the valve. The valve is pretty much stuck up in there, that, all from that water. Uh, seems like that water get in there, rusted it up. So I'm gonna just let it sit for a little bit and I'll try to free it up. I'm gonna try to find my WD-40 and spray it here and I'll see if I can free it up a little bit. Alrighty guys, so what we got here, uh, this one right here is a used one that I got from a former car that I had bought, but I'd use the original intake piece on there, the top of the intake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just use this on my own boy car, cause um, <coughs> I got an idle ear control valve on there. So what I pretty much do, my sensor right here was messed up. So I replaced it. You gotta have like a, a, a mock, mock heater or some stuff to kind of grind it like a snatch so you can use like a flat pipe to replace this um, valve right here <coughs> sensor so what i'm gonna do now guys uh back to the car i'm gonna go ahead remove this um uh, egr valve and do a little cleaning up on this egr valve too since i'm right here and um then we're gonna install back the parts and try it again So you guys, um, as I said, I did have an old intake in the back, so I swapped it off. So we pretty much have everything on there right now, apart from the intake tube. So um, I'm gonna crank it up right now and see what it do, see if we got it in the And um, <clears throat> we're gonna go from there. Hopefully it's better than it was before. So let's give it a crank. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and clear the code and um see if it see what it what it runs like after that. Okay, guys. So for right now, we're having the same issue with the one that we put on. So um, I go ahead and pull the old one apart. Let's the camera. I 
as you can see in here guys magnet work very well but it's very rusty the bearing in here is very very rust and this is the old one um the used one possibly got the same problem going on too um because it was sitting outside and it wasn't properly um stored so i'm not surprised if the um the used one that i put on had the same issue like this one right here what i'm trying to do right now is just clean it up a little bit and see if i can free it up i'm gonna put like a vice grip on this magnet and see if i can move it a little because this piece is supposed to flap inside so we'll put it right here this piece right here is supposed to be able to move on the inside to rotate the idle so i'm gonna try free this up a little bit since we got two of them i'm gonna just free this one up with some more wd-40 in it That's what we're gonna do for right now, guys. Try and free this valve up. See if we can get it to rotate again. And um, put it back together and put it on. So let me try to free it up and then we'll get back. So, I'd use a vice grip on here. It's kind of damaged the magnet a little bit, but I, I don't think it should bother once I clean it up. But as you can see now, guys, it's moving you see that flap in there moving definitely giving us a better vibe right now So we're just gonna do a little bit more cleaning guys until it much free still kind of got a little glitch in it so we're just gonna clean it up real good and um install it back onto the car and see the difference we should get a better idle even if it's not perfect but we should get a better idle guys and um this piece right here you gotta make like a little notch into the screw to get this screw out with a flat point this is sensor right here sensor is dirty on the inside you can see water was getting in there messed it up a little bit so that's what we're gonna do guys clean this up too a little bit with some brake cleaner before we install it once we free it up a little bit more so once I freed it up cleaned it up and put it in the car I'm gonna show you it to show you guys what it sounds like. For right now, it sounds the same way. All right, guys. So much, much better. If you look right here on the valve now, you can see the valve rotating. It's moving now. So we're gonna take out the one that's on it, and then we're gonna put this one on, and we should get a better idle value from the car. So let's do that so the moment or two guys i've just put the one i just cleaned up on there so we're gonna crank it up and see if we get a difference moment or two all right guys moment or two here we go got it where we want it guys so real good now guys no more high idle none of that that's how you fix a high idle search idle and a 1998 a matter of fact any under a card under civic with this idle your control valve that's how you fix it guys and that's how the could come let me go ahead and call the customer to come get the car get it out of here like guys subscribe to the channel if you like this video, share the video, 
and hope you have somebody in the future. Thank you.